Hi everybody, my name is Hillary Trapagan. I'm the lead calibration tech at Digivac, and today we're demonstrating the startup and operational procedure for this Agilent IDP15 dry scroll pump. First things first, make sure to remove these red caps. We've also disengaged the shipping locks in order to allow the pump to float within its cowling to minimize vibration and sound, as well as raised the L brackets, allowing the pump to sit on its rubber feet. And in order to test and run this pump, we're going to hook up our Digivac Bullseye Precision Gauge directly to the inlet of the pump. This gauge comes outfitted with a KF25 sensor. We'll use an O-ring and flange to clamp it to the inlet. You'll notice with the pump off, the gauge is reading atmospheric pressure. Take a look at your voltage selector and make sure you've selected the correct voltage, remembering that the pump is set for 230 volts from the factory, but we'll be using 115. If purchased directly from Digivac, this pump comes with a power cord. So we'll insert the cord. Find our outlet and flip the power switch. You'll notice how quiet this pump is, and with very little vibration, reading only approximately 60 decibels, most of which comes from the fan. So we've had our pump running for approximately three minutes with our Digibag Bullseye Precision Gauge hooked up, currently reading 107 millitor. Typically, within several minutes, you can expect to see pressures of between 60 and 150 millitor on first use, so we're well on our way. One of the things you can do in order to improve your base pressure is to allow the pump to run with nothing attached to the inlet for several minutes in order to allow residual dust, debris, and water to exit the pump. So now, we'll do just that. So we've had our pump running with nothing attached to the inlet for several minutes. Let's see what improvement this has on our base pressure. One way to improve our base pressure is to remove the gas ballast from the pump. On initial startup of the pump, we may find that our base pressure is not ideal due to additional accumulated water vapor inside the body of the pump from shipping or storage. So we can remove the gas ballast for approximately 20 minutes in order to heat up the pump and also to purge the water vapor inside. We'll do so with a 2 millimeter Allen wrench. We hear the air coming through the pump, which will help purge the water vapor inside as the pump heats up.